Hi there. After this lesson, you should be able to identify a linear function based on the rate of change of a table. Let's take a look at a table. How can we tell if this represents a linear function? First, recall that a linear function is just a function whose graph is a straight line, such as this one right here. When we look at a graph, we know that if we see a straight, non-vertical line, then we have a linear function. But what do we look for in a table that tells us this straight line will appear once graphed? We look at the rate of change, or the change in y over the change in x. Let's check it out. To get from 1 to 2, I add 1. And to get from 2 to 4 on the other side, I add 2. The rate of change between these two points on the graph is 1 over 2, or 1 half. What about the rate of change between the remaining points? Well, to get from 2 to 3, I also add 1, and to get from 4 to 6, I add 2. Again, the rate of change is 1 half. Lastly, I can add 1 to get to 4, and add 2 to get to 8. The rate of change, again, is 1 half. Since the rate does not change from one pair of values to the next, this is called a constant rate of change. If a table displays a constant rate of change, then the table represents a linear function. Let's take a look at another example. If this represents a linear function, it will have a constant rate of change. To find the rate of change, we will find the change in y over the change in x. Okay, from 11 to 7, we subtract 4, and from 0 to 2, we add 2. The change in y is negative 4, and the change in x is positive 2. Therefore, our rate of change is negative 2. Keep going. From 7 to 3, we subtract 4, and from 2 to 4, we add 2. Again, we get a rate of change of negative 4 over 2, or negative 2. Lastly, from 3 to negative 1, we subtract 4, and from 4 to 8, we add 4. This time, our rate of change is 4 over negative 4, or negative 1. Because this rate of change differs from the others, the rate of change is not constant, and therefore it is not a linear function. Okay, it's your turn. Determine whether each table represents a linear function. Okay, let's take a look at the first table. From 0 to 8, I add 8, and from 0 to 2, I add 2, giving me a rate of change of 8 over 2, or 4. From 8 to 12, I add 4, and 2 to 3, I add 1. This gives me a rate of change of 4 over 1, or 4. Lastly, from 12 to 20, I'll add 8, and from 3 to 5, I'll add 2 for a rate of change of 8 halves, or 4. Since the rate of change is constant, this does represent a linear function. Let's take a look at the second table. From 3 to 9, we must add 6, and from 14 to 11, subtract 3, for a rate of change of 6 over negative 3, or negative 2. Then from 9 to 12, we add 3, and from 11 to 8, we subtract 3 giving us a rate of change of 3 over negative 3, or negative 1. Since I can already see that the two rates of change are not the same, I can conclude that they are not constant, and this table does not represent a linear function. In summary, we can confidently say that a table represents a linear function if it has a constant rate of change, which we can find by calculating the change in y over the change in x for each pair of values in the table. Good job!